might be hooked on you I love the things you said you said to me to me it seems like you like me too hey y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new I am Martha and I'm very glad that you um, decided to watch today so as some of you may remember some of you may not Two weeks ago, I was in my parents' house, in their kitchen to be exact, doing a redo of their kitchen table. I am looking at that right now. I'm back at their house, and I, I don't even remember, I asked y'all if y'all were interested in seeing the China cabinet remake, and a lot of y'all said, yes, let's do it. So here we are. This is gonna be the China cabinet redo video. I'm doing a lot of other different furniture for her and I'm going to film a little bit of it. You probably won't see it in this video. You might see it kind of sprinkled in some other videos or I might just edit one video and let you see it all. I don't know yet, but this video is going to be specifically just for the china cabinet. So I'm going to turn you around, kind of show you what you're looking at and what our ideas are. So this is the china cabinet, as you may have seen in the video two weeks ago. Let me just give you a little pan. My parents actually got this as a wedding gift from my grandfather, so my mom's dad. And she absolutely loves it, but it's just this color of the wood. It's a little bit dated, and so she wants to kind of update that a little bit. And as you can see, we already have done some updates. This was from a very long time ago. Before they were wallpapering furniture, <laughs> my mom and I put in this and it's actually fabric. I don't know if you can see this and we just tacked it in, which is just kind of fun that we had that idea and did that. Um, so yeah, so that needs to go. This stain needs to go. I do love it. It's just, like I said, just a little bit dated and just needs a little bit of a refresh. Just to give you a little overview, we're gonna keep all of this. Um, my mom has some brass polisher. We're just gonna polish all of the hardware and keep the hardware just because brass is back in and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I showed you a little bit of the paint that we're using, but we're gonna be going with this kind of really pretty navy. And I decided to do it in a flat and we are gonna do some polycrylic covering just to like keep it finished and keep it pretty. And we keep it at the clear ultra flat. So we're just gonna go with the really flat modern look. That's kind of my vision. And I think that's gonna play off really well with how shiny the handles and stuff are. Like I said, we're gonna get these polished and see if we can't bring them back, but we're gonna keep all of that. And I think that the flat of the paint is gonna uh, play off of this really well and be really pretty. Also, she has a lot of glass in this piece, so I think the flat will kind of give some dimension between the wood and the glass. So that's kind of my idea of why I decided to go with the flat instead of doing a more glossy look. And then we are getting rid of the fabric and doing this wallpaper instead. Found this wallpaper on Amazon. I will go ahead and link it below. Oops, you can get it, okay. But it's kind of like a sea foamy green color or like a sagey green. And it just has these little twigs on them in white. And it's just kind of a little bit more of a simple design, but it's just really, really pretty. And I think that it'll look really nicely contrasted against the navy. So that was kind of our thought. So you might be able to see a little bit of a theme that's happening here with the greens, especially. Uh, my mom has these really gorgeous lights, or my parents have these gorgeous, my parents have these really gorgeous windows, and whenever you open them up and kind of like let the natural light of this house kind of be in the kitchen, it brightens everything up, and I think my idea is to bring like the outside in with all the green. That's what my mom and I have been talking about. So yeah, that's why we're doing all of the green. We have the green on the walls. Yeah, so we're doing kind of like a green theme and a greenery and we think it's just gonna be really nice. So I hope that you enjoy this video, that it brings you a lot of inspiration and motivation. Um, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. I have a lot of makeover content coming just because it's a lot of fun and I think that y'all kind of like it. And yeah. 
like this video if you are enjoying it and let's just get started we're gonna go ahead and unload it get the fabric out possibly get the glass out of the doors and stuff we're gonna see how easy that is take the hardware off and then yeah get to painting so let's do this side taped up because I can't take it out because you have to take the shelves out to take the glass out and we've tried to take the shelves out before and it was just not good so we're just not even going to deal with it we're just going to tape over it and 
I had to do like a scraping technique on mine whenever um, I painted mine because I didn't even tape them. I just scraped the paint off. So we're gonna try t painting, and if I get any tape any or if I get any paint anywhere, then it's fine. Sorry for the noise. I'm also sort of cooking in the background, being super obnoxious. But we have everything out and free of hardware so that, and we have it all elevated with just some extra paint cans. And we can go ahead and get started sanding. So I think I'm gonna, okay, she's done. So I think I'm gonna use, she's raising her hand. What do you want? Should I pair milk? Oh my gosh, yes. She's acting like she's never cooked before. Um, so I think I'm going to use a like kind of medium grit sandpaper and just lightly sand. The only reason I'm doing this is not to remove any finish, but just to kind of loosen up the finish that we have now so that the paint kind of sits in the grooves that I'm going to create. So I'm probably going to use like maybe 180 or 200, just really softly. And then we can finally get a coat of paint on it. You are being so obnoxious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go to voiceover because she's being too much. <laughs> it really makes me wonder. So I just wanted to interject in the video just for a quick second and talk to you about what my process is going to be with painting. And as you can see, I'm brushing on the paint right now and then I follow up with a roller. I actually made a huge mistake in doing this and I'll talk about it a little bit more later in the video. But my hope was that the roller would even out the finish a little bit better um, because whenever you just use a brush, you're going to get brush strokes. So my hope was that the roller would do a good job of hiding that, but it actually did the opposite and added more texture. So make sure that whenever you're buying rollers that you check and see which one you should be using. You should probably be using the foam one. And I really screwed up and bought a wall roller, which ended up providing a ton of texture that I did not want.
Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? Before I'm too invested, well. It is day two of our little project, and as all time-sensitive projects go, we have a problem. <laughs> so let me turn you around. So I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you can definitely tell. We have some really bad texturing going on. It's very, very bad. Um, so basically what happened was I used the wrong uh, roller. I should have used a foam roller because we have some really bad stippling happening because I used the wrong roller. And I actually even brushed over this this morning to see if maybe brushing it will make it go away. It is not going away. So, so my plan of attack is one cry, I already got that one done, <laughs> that one's covered. Um, two, I need to go ahead and probably get some 1000 grit sandpaper and just lightly sand over the finish. And I'm going back and forth between just brushing it on or using a foam roller. I'm a little bit nervous that a foam roller, we might have the same issues, but we're gonna go ahead and grab it and I'll bring you back with the update. Y'all need to watch me sand this thing again and just correct my mistake, but I'll let you know how everything looks whenever we're done with that. So wish me luck. <laughs> All right, so we have gotten everything sanded. We had to use 120 grit. That was how bad this was. And then we followed up with a 600 grit in the places that were really bad. And for the most part, we have it back to smooth. And we're gonna put one more coat of paint on it and see what it looks like. Okay, we are back on day three. I am much happier because all of the crap is behind us. <laughs> we got, we literally spent all day yesterday sanding just to get rid of all the stippling. I'm honestly really disappointed in myself that I let this happen. Um, but got sand, everything sanded, used 120, which is pretty crazy that I had to use that low of a grit. And then um, also followed in with some 600 just to smooth it out a lot, especially on the doors, because the doors were really, really bad. So I'm gonna turn you around real quick and show you how everything looks now that I've done that. And then the products I'm gonna be using to finish this thing out. Okay, so like I said, all of the texturing is pretty much gone. The only thing that's left is just like paint brush strokes, which um, I would prefer those over what we had yesterday because it was just so bad, but we can definitely tell a pretty fantastic difference. We do not have that texturing at all. And Chris is the back and is in the background being super obnoxious and loud, of course. But next step is to throw on some polycrylic protective finish. I talked about this in the last makeover video that was two weeks ago. Um, Polycrylic is the only company, or the only line that has the matte finish. So right here you can see that matte finish. And that is what is happening over there. He's changing out the plug for my mom and being super loud about it. Say hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Polycrylic is the only kind that you can get the matte finish. And I did a flat finish on here just because I want to do a little bit more of that mid-century modern look. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna throw three coats of that on and then use these foam brushes uh, using the same technique that I used with the table makeover. 
But I am done not filming. I'll go ahead and film putting the first layer of uh, protective finish on it. The other two, I'm probably not gonna film so that you know you don't get bored or anything. But um, I will show you what everything looks like whenever we're done so that you can see that matte finish. So I just want to interject here real quick and just say that while I really like the fact that Polycrylic line offers a matte finish just for those people that want the matte finish as opposed to the really glossy finish, you have to be really careful with this stuff. Um, it started to pile up in a few places and left some white milky residue on the piece in a few places and so that ended up having to be touched up. It was just sanded down, repainted, and then I add another coat of poly, which was really frustrating that that happened. This piece, like, I, like I'm going to tell you later, like really tested my patience. Uh, towards the end of it, I was just kind of like, I would be completely happy if I never saw this again. <laughs> but um, and just to like forewarn you, if you want to use this product, I really like it because it offers a matte finish, but just be careful with it and make sure you don't pile on any of the finish and that you just smooth it out so you don't have that buildup of milky residue. I also just wanted to mention that if it looks like I'm really distracted throughout this entire process is because I am. Um, we had a rare weekend at my parents' house where everybody was home and I am one of four children and then we have my husband so there's five kids, big kids around the house all the time just making a lot of ruckus and just being really crazy and just an example right there was Chris needing to have his hand in the camera. I don't know what was going through his head, but we, like I said, we had a rare weekend where we had a bunch of people over and it was actually because my youngest sister, who just turned 18, uh, graduated from high school. So that was really exciting and kind of like, oh no, we have so much to do and then also have to go to this graduation and get this thing done because we're having a party for her next weekend and my mom really wanted the family to be able to see this updated piece. So that's why it looks like I'm kind of going everywhere, but what's awesome about having everybody over is that it really took a village to get this piece done and you can see my sister, um, not my sister who graduated, I have another sister who's in college. Um, but she was helping me a lot. Um, Chris was helping me a ton. Uh, my little brother came in a little bit just to move some things. So it was kind of awesome to have everybody there and to be able to share the burden, as you might say. Um, yeah, but that was just a really cool experience. So 
What I'm doing now is just polishing up the brass pieces. You can see the difference, it was pretty drastic. And um, against the blue paint, they look absolutely gorgeous. So something that might be really funny is that you can see that I put my hand through the door and it's because Chris was able to remove the glass. And I have to say that husband of mine is very ingenuous and knows how to make things work whenever <laughs> you need them to. Uh, so it was pretty funny because I went through all of that struggle to tape all that nonsense and I really didn't have to do it. It was just that I got to my parents' house a little bit earlier to get started before Chris did and he came over and he was like, oh yeah, I'd be able to get that out, no problem. And I was just like, you know what, it's taped we'll just leave it and we took everything out and then my mom was able to get the glass cleaned uh, very well and took took the paint that was stuck on the glass off but it was just one of those things where I was like okay that's cool I didn't need to do that <laughs> if I'm gone by now all my weakness keep on Okay y'all, so here we are, day five, finally the final day. This project has tested my patience. <laughs> it, we've been out doing a lot of back and forth and just going really crazy, but looking at it, it is absolutely spectacular. So let me turn you around and talk to you about it a little bit. Okay, so here it is. It's the doors are open because it was curing overnight just to kind of make sure we didn't have anything stick, like the, the paint or the poly kind of stick or anything. So that can all get closed up and stuff now because it's all good to go. But this is how it's looking. I already put this up because this was honestly kind of my inspiration. Once I kind of was playing with some stuff and looking at some things around my mom's house, I was like, this would look so good with what we have going on. Let me close the doors and then 
Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we back are with everything all closed up and it is just absolutely gorgeous. The finish is much, much better. We don't have any of the stippling that we had before. We have a few brush strokes and a few things here and there, but for the most part, it looks really, really good. We got the brass polished up, completely brand new. Wallpaper is totally in. As you can see, that process was a little bit of a pain and I apologize for not showing you us putting the doors and stuff on because it really took a village to get all of that put together and the shelves in. But this is where we are. So, all right, so now that it's finally completely done, cured all the way, we can start doing the actual fun part and decorating. So let's finally get to it. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away all you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me final product. I have to say, although this project was a little bit of a pain, I am absolutely loving how it turned out. I am so completely jealous this is my mom's and not mine. I know that I have the black and white farmhouse in my house, but uh, 
You gotta love that boho and all the colors and oh, I love that I was able to kind of mix my mom's antiques with some kind of a little bit trendier stuff just to give her a little bit more of that balance in her house of again not just the antique and the vintage but also getting a little bit trendier, getting a little bit more modern. I think it really fits the piece well and the they the, all the elements just kind of play off of each other. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing. I have a lot more makeover videos coming up just because this, this is something that I'm very interested in doing. And I have a couple of pieces that I'm looking to flip for profit. So if you're interested in seeing this, as well as my cleaning and organizing that I do, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any content. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye y'all.